Hi, it's Angry Admin from AngrySysops.com and this is the last video of 2023. As I promised, today is a short video and I'll be talking about vSphere Cluster Services VMs, which is VCLS. Why? Because sometimes you need to power them off or delete them. Uh, what are VCLS? Um, they are VMs uh, created by DRS feature. Uh, more on that uh, subject, if you want to get deep into it, uh, there's a great blog on yellowbricks.com um, where uh, that is explained. Now, just for your knowledge, uh, they are uh, managed by vCenter and DRS itself, so you don't need to worry about them. However, sometimes you do need to delete them or power them off. If you want the vSphere 8.0 upgrade 2, there is a solution for it and there is and the GUI. So it's called retreat mode and it's accessible through GUI. If you're not on the update 2, then you have to do it through advanced settings. And I will show you how to do it. Now, I'll be doing this on my work environment, hence I will blur some names, but you will be able to see what's going on. Now, before we go to it, there's a one more thing which I want to share with you. I put together all my demonstration video and notes about Snapshot, and I wrote a quick ebook called Snapshot 101. It's available now on uh, Amazon, and uh, so please go to Amazon, click on the buy button, and uh, it costs you like 99 cents, so it's not even one dollar or one euro. And instead of buying me coffee or support me different way, buy that book and leave the review on Amazon. Okay, now once you're ready, let's jump in to our subject. So first of all, we need to know one thing. We need to know a domain ID. And how to do it, you just click on your domain and in the URL, you see after cluster compute resource, there's a domain and dash C and the number. So you just need this number, just this short number, and you copy that. This will, uh, this number we will need in the future. Now, because we need to use advanced settings, we need to, actually, I'll show you something. So actually, I'm on the cluster now and I'll click on VMs uh, and let's see, <coughs> let's see on the host, there's a VCLS VM, which we need to get rid of, okay? And if you, if you switch off the DRS, that VM will be there anyway. So what we need to do, we need to now click on the uh, vCenter itself and then go to configure and advanced settings in advanced vcenter server settings click on the edit now as you see there's a list of the settings but we need to add new settings and new settings is config dot vcls VCLS clusters dot and now we need that domain number. This is what we got from this is what we got from the clicking on the cluster and from the URL. Now we need to click dot and word enabled. Now, in value, we need to put false. And we need to add. And save. Now, once we've done this, in a few moments, that VM will disappear.
and as you can see it's gone now be careful because this settings is set up on false which means drs is not working it doesn't work at the moment so if we did our troubleshooting or we want to we we we're we done with our investigation and we want to get drs back we need to go back to global settings on the vCenter, configure advanced settings. Now we need to click edit settings again and we don't add this settings again, but we need to find uh, the settings. So the best option is to go by a, a number of the domain and change this <coughs> to true. Once we change on true, we will go to save. And let's have a look. In the few moments, around 30 seconds, that VM will show up again. And there you are. Now, if you have vCenter 8.0 update 2, then it's much easier, and I will show you in a few moments. Not much easier, but it's easy accessible. And this is my vCenter, which is updated, version 8 update 2. And I click on the cluster. As you can see, I have a vCLS. Uh, so now we go to configure and under vSphere cluster services, there's a tab general. We click on that one. And as you can see, it's vCLS mode. On the left, right hand side, on the right hand side, there's a button edit vCLS mode. Once you click on it, you can see that we have a system manage or retreat mode. If we click on the retreat mode and we click OK. Now the VM will be deleted. And let's have a look very quickly. Look on it. It will take again a few moments and then will be gone. Now, if you want to recreate the VMs, we just need to reverse that process as you can see that vms are being deleted and if we want to get them back what we need to do we need to go to configure and again under general vlc mode and we have to change to system managed so let's do that and in the few moments they will reappear. Okay, guys, I hope this was interesting for you and it's very easy to follow. Um, I want to wish you all very happy new year. I wish you to all your dreams came true in the new year. And I wish to all of you to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, buy my book and see you in the next video in the new year. Bye.